Link Sprinter from NetScout Systems is the original pocket-sized network tester that's really easy to use. Just plug Link Sprinter into a network drop, and you'll know instantly whether it's working and how it's configured. Link Sprinter runs off your network's power over Ethernet if that's available. If not, it supports two AA batteries, which are inexpensive and easy to keep on hand. AA batteries provide for a quick and easy swap if you run low on power and you're in the middle of a job. No need to stop progress while you tether to an external power source. Turn it on by holding down the green power button for a second. Battery level is indicated by the colors here. The link indicator will flash green when it's ready to connect. Just connect the cable and the test will start automatically on PoE-enabled networks. If no PoE is available, then you'll push the green button to begin the test. Link Sprinter performs five essential tests, including testing for power over Ethernet, establishing an Ethernet link, getting an IP address from a DHCP server, pinging a gateway router, and ping tests to the internet or cloud device of your choice. This symbol indicates the status of power over Ethernet. If the indicator is green, you've got power. If the indicator is off, no PoE is detected on the line. This would be a problem if you wanted to plug in an access point or a phone that expects PoE and could mean that the switch is configured incorrectly or you're on the wrong port. If the indicator is yellow, you've got power, but it's weak. That could be a switch problem, or maybe the cable is bad or too long. The next test is the Ethernet link. A solid green indicator means that you are able to establish a link with the switch. If the indicator keeps blinking, Link Sprinter can't connect to the switch and the rest of the tests will not run. This is likely bad cabling or a hardware failure in the switch. If it's yellow, that means Link Sprinter was able to connect at 10 or 100 megabits per second, but the switch says it can do 1 gig, which probably indicates a cabling issue. So to troubleshoot the problem, you could access Link Sprinter's cable test function. Using the DHCP test, Link Sprinter is able to test whether the DHCP server in your network is able to provide a valid IP address. DHCP servers provide an IP address on most networks. What Link Sprinter tells you about your network depends on whether you've set it up to use DHCP or entered a static IP address instead. If it's green, either you or the DHCP server has provided a valid address. If it's red and you have a static address, it found another device on the network with the same address, which means you'll need to change Link Sprinter's address. If it's red and you're using DHCP, then the DHCP server is either not configured correctly or is not responding. Next, Link Sprinter pings the gateway router three times. If all three pings get a response, the indicator will be green. If there's no response, the indicator will be red, which could mean that the Link Sprinter IP address is incorrect or the gateway is down or configured to ignore pings. If it's yellow, that means that there was at least one response out of three, which probably means that the gateway is busy or there's a lot of traffic on the network. Finally, Link Sprinter tests the connection to a destination of your choice, which could be on your internal cloud or the internet. The default is Google, but you can change that by going into the setting menu from either your mobile device or within the Link Live Cloud service. Link Sprinter sends three pings or port open requests to the destination. If all three pings get a response, the indicator turns green. If there's no response, it's red, which probably means the internet or the destination is down. If it's yellow, at least one request was not acknowledged, which could mean high traffic at the destination or on your internet connection. When the test is done, Link Sprinter will automatically push it to the included Link Live cloud service. Link Live provides users with the ability to receive complete connectivity details in a central database that can be used across the IT team, allowing for collaboration and reference during troubleshooting down the road. Link Live supports an unlimited amount of test results for an unlimited amount of time, as well as an unlimited number of testers associated to the same account. You can add more detail to the test results, such as wall jack location, or even append a photo of, say, the serial number of the Wi-Fi access point you just installed, using either the mobile UI or email, depending on your individual use case. That information is then uploaded and appended, providing you with an image of the device connected at a specific wall jack and directly connected to a given switch slot, port, or VLAN. Automated filing capabilities even further simplify the workflow by creating folders within the Link Sprinter mobile UI to have test results automatically filed for you.
Link Sprinter provides quick and effective testing of your network connections in just seconds. To learn more about NetScout System's Link Sprinter Network Connectivity Tester, please visit us online at enterprise.netscout.com/linksprinter.